Hi, I'm Elizabeth Fredrickson and I teach English composition. Um, and the other hat that I sometimes wear is that I work as a copywriter and copy editor. And I was thinking about the best practices from copywriting that I have learned that I can transfer to um, student-facing text. In other words, um, syllabus, assignment sheets, uh, the type of writing that I do to communicate well with my students. And a few principles that I've learned from uh, copywriting, sort of the, the purpose of web-based writing, um, <clears throat> is uh, three things. To inform, uh, instruct, and inspire. And in web-based writing, if you go to a website, for instance, um, the, the text will inform you what the product or service is, it will instruct you how to access it, access it and make use of it, and it will inspire you to keep coming back. And I want my syllabus to do the same thing, to inform students what this class is and what it's about, to instruct them how to make use of the material, how to access assignments, and to inspire them to know that uh, they're in the, a good place and that they can succeed here. A few things that I borrow from copywriting when I um, work and rework my syllabus. Um, one is to uh, be sure to speak directly to the student and also include yourself. So that means using the uh, second person and first person pronouns. So here's an example of before. Um, in this class, students will write topic sentences and develop them in unified and coherent paragraphs. Sample paragraphs from professional writers will be provided as models, um, which is very clear, but it's also sort of impersonal um, and hard for the student maybe to picture themselves in that class doing that thing. So in the revised version, in this class, you will learn to write a good topic sentence, a good topic sentence and develop it in a unified and coherent paragraph, we'll look at some successful paragraphs from professional writers and use those as models. So it's something you're doing and we're all doing together, which makes it more fun. Another thing I learned from copywriting is whenever you write, you should highlight the features and the benefits of the thing you're writing about. So instead of an assignment that just says, this practice research assignment is worth 25 points, um, you can call out the benefits to the student. This 25-point assignment will introduce you to the RTC Library online databases, teach you how to conduct a simple guided search, and give you practice choosing and evaluating two sources of information. Now it sounds a lot more useful. Um, good copywriting uh, on the web generally targets an eighth grade reading level. Um, and the key is to keep it simple. And although we certainly want our students to read uh, analytically at a much higher reading level than that, um, we can provide plenty of texts and handouts and, and course material that is at a college level. But the syllabus, I think, can still be written at an eighth grade level and that's a good target um, because the purpose of the syllabus is to communicate clearly. Um, students are not going to analyze your syllabus, they just want to get information from it. So here's a sentence that I pulled from a Psychology 101 syllabus uh, at a college, I think, in Georgia, off the web. And here's a paragraph, or a sentence that says, the classroom is considered a limited use forum where the professor is allowed to expect a standard of behavior that differs from what may be required of persons in their own home or outside of class. And a revised version of that, that's direct, simple, uh, eighth grade level reading just says, I expect certain standards of behavior in the classroom. And of course, you can go on to say what those are. And also, I've inserted the personal pronoun there, too. Uh, one last thing that we use in copywriting for really critical things, um, really important features, or for warnings and cautions, uh, we use callouts. And a great way to uh, to do a call out is to put a box around it. And I do that uh, sparingly so that there aren't too many of them in the syllabus, but I save it for the really important things, like the final exam is pass-fail for the course. Um, I prefer boxes over color. 
um, because sometimes students will have only black ink in their printer and they like to print out their material and the color is not going to show up. So I try to keep it as simple as possible. Anyway, those are a few things that I've learned.